Hey guys, Brandon Watson back with another video. I got a special request from one of the subscribers to do a video on Celsius, de degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So here we are. Um, the formula to get Celsius, the regular formula, is C equals F minus 32 times 5 over 9, 5 ninths. And for Fahrenheit, is F equals 9 over 5 degrees Celsius, C plus 32. But um, what I would recommend doing is kind of having a universal formula of, um, I'll look it over here, try and look through the phone and do this, first time doing this, is um, 5F equals. Um, 9C plus 160 and that way if you have it in degrees Fahrenheit you can just plug it in for the F and then that you solve for C and that will give you degrees Celsius or if you have degrees Celsius you just plug it in for the C and solve for F and that will give you degrees Fahrenheit um, and this formula is basically coming from simplifying this here in case you don't notice, these two formulas are the inverse of each other. So, um, to simplify this this here, I wouldn't want to work with this here every time. So, to simplify the formula, um, you would have to multiply each side by 5 to get rid of this denominator. So, you would multiply by 5, cross it off here and then you'd have to multiply, what you do to one side you have to do to the other side so you have to multiply F by 5 and then that would give you 5F equals you have to multiply that that 9 by C it's 9C and what you did to the one one factor here to get rid of that 5 you have to also do to the other factor here multiply 32 times 5 as well and 32 times 5 is 10 3 times 5 is 15 plus that 1 is 16 it's 160 so that would be 160 so you have 5f equals 9c plus 160 and let's say, for example, we have uh, Fahrenheit equals Fahrenheit equals 10 degrees. We want to find out what the C would equal. So you just plug that 10 in for the F. 5 times 10 equals... 9C plus 160 and then you multiply 5 times 10 is 50 equals 9C plus 160 you gotta get the like terms together so we would subtract 160 from both sides 160 <laughs> what's that um, that would be Negative one ten. Negative one ten. Uh, oh, you excuse me. <laughs> Just part of a YouTube video. Equals nine C, and then the last step would be divide by nine to get degrees Celsius by itself. And we have one ten negative divided by. 9 equals 9 goes into 1 0 times, 9 goes into 11 1 time, 9 times 1, 9, bring down the 9, 9, 11 minus 9 is 2, 9 goes, bring down the other 0, 20, 9 goes into 20 2 times, 9 times 2 is 18, got the 2, put the 0, Bring down the zero. Nine goes into two, 20, two times. And that's 18. 
Got a two would be same thing, two, two, two repeating. So uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit equals 12.22 degrees Celsius. And do the same thing. You might want to give me a wipe here. I'm going to wipe off this bottom area here. Right here? Yep. Is it here? Yep. I can wipe. Wipe off all this right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can help him. No! Yeah, you can wipe that off there. No. Hurry, 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 hurry. There you go. Okay, we got mine. <laughs> all right, that's good. Thank you. Just another quick example. Uh, let's say, give me a number. Give me a number, Nehemiah. Uh, two. Two. Okay, I got degrees Celsius. We'll do it the other way. So five F equals nine C plus one sixty. We have degrees C equals two, and we want to find out how many degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit that is. You plug in the two for Celsius for C. 9 times 2 plus 160 and you have 9 times 2 is 18 plus 160 <coughs> equals 5F and you gotta add these together and that's 178 you better tell equals 5F and then to get F alone you divide by 5 since you're multiplying there. You divide by 5. Get rid of that. And then you divide by 5 over here. You got 178 divided by 5. 5 goes in ze 1 zero times. 5 goes in 17 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15. 17 minus 15. You got 2. Bring down the 8. 5 goes into 28 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Got a remainder of 3. There's another 0 here. Has a, yeah, bring it down. 5 goes into 30 6 times. 5 times 6 is 30. Remainder of 6.